2023 Municipal Buildings Committee uh, to order. Um, first of all, I'd like to say, I, I do want, want to apologize. We haven't had a meeting for quite some time. And Gary and I have talked a couple of times about how, should we have a meeting or shouldn't we? And consequently, we have it. And the reason is, one, we have absolutely no money to do anything. And two, we've been having a difficult time trying to get the projects that we have on the books going forward. Um, we and and that's it's been a little disappointing for sure. I think that um, there needs to be the the issues relative to the reasons why they haven't been. Uh, out on the streets need to be addressed somehow by the town. Um, and that's certainly my opinion. It's um, we have unsuccessfully tried to get things going. We've got together with the architect several times and um, we've had to make some modifications and by the request of the parties that send out the packages through the town. Unfortunately, you know, we wish that some of the information that was being requested could be asked of us sooner than in the meetings. And it's um, it just creates a time lag. Um, we thought back in this past summer that uh, at least the two of the projects, one being the painting and the other one being the um, what, what we call phase one of Goodwin, was out on the streets and it turned out they were not. And it took us until probably, what, September sometime till we could get another meeting and address that again. And again, thinking that everything was going forward and it didn't happen. Uh, we had a meeting probably two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Uh, there was some other points that were asked of us, which could have been done quite easily in an email a long, long time ago. We could have addressed those and had a meeting to say, okay, everybody happy with, with the package and let's throw it out. It unfortunately, and you quite honestly, a lot of people and a lot of employees of Hadley are stretched way too thin, and things have to things get dropped. You know, in our opinion, these projects should not have been dropped. In our opinion, they're extremely important to the functionality of the town. Uh, things that people want to see happen. And certainly if we could, and we were hoping that by this time, good one would have been done and the departments were in there. That hasn't happened, but we will address that in a different format and try to figure out how we can get a better system on getting these type of projects out. Um, but the, we still don't have the three that we've been pushing, which is the painting, the phase one, uh, the construction work on Goodwin. And the third one is what we call the pre preliminary to phase two, trying to get architectural and design services to write up the specs and get everything out the door. And that hasn't happened either. That was a $25,000 article that we um, asked for in town meeting and certainly got approved a couple years ago. The painting's been around for, gosh, what, over three years now. Yeah. And the money's there. Um, well, I have certainly been talking to the chair of CPA. They understand what the issues are. Uh, it's unfortunate for sure, and they would love to see the money spent. We all do. These are good, worthwhile projects, but um, 
but we still don't have them out. And that's one of the reasons, you know, we just, we're kind of dead in the water on a lot of stuff. I think when we were active, you know, the years that we're, you know, really active, you know, we got these projects done. We got three new buildings and we got a bunch of stuff repaired. I mean, Gary was right after it and went through a series of, uh, of um, you know, on-call consultant issues that, you know, we had to get rid of one. Larry stepped up and got a bunch of stuff. But, you know, again, we expected him to retire. I don't know, is he, is he getting close to retiring soon? Or I'm surprised he's still, I, he was getting sick of it by the time I heard. So I don't know if we can count on that particular well right outfit. Now, you're right right now right now we're at the point we don't really the on call consultant money is running it's out. gone i mean that was fifty thousand. Right. what did we set that up that was what eight six seven years ago more yeah, than right. that maybe but it, i see you've got some you know a, a plan to at least get an article to replenish that fund right i mean yeah, that, this, that's that's, be, that's critical for lots of repair issues we've come We've gone back around to where we were when we started, as far as stuff in the town's going. Yeah. Uh, contracts aren't moving forward. Yeah. When Nobody we were active, to, I think things worked well. And they we don't, don't want to spend money on a consultant to write up stuff. I just in the last six months, it, it's the crazy, the bids that they, they put out the bid, and we've had to cancel them because there's no information to back it up. There's yeah. no details. Yeah. You know, when you're spending this kind of money, you need to spend a little extra to make sure you're getting what what you're paying sure. for, and something's not written, you know, written up. They, you know, they're just like pulling, you know, oh, right up a set of you know solar panels on the roof. Okay, comes out with a picture of shingled roof. That's not what it is. It's standing seam. Okay, what kind of clamps? Oh, well, yeah. Unfortunately, I mean, I don't know how to put this other than the town was basically spoiled. Uh, My wife and I wrote all these specs up for many years. And it got to a boy, you know, uh, not that we volunteered. They were requiring us and asking us to do them. And I got to the point, I, I said, no, you're not going to ask me anymore to write these specs up. I'm sorry. And I won't do it anymore. I can write these specs. We've done them hundreds of times. But, you know, and th these two big projects have fallen to the wayside because of this whole issue on how we inter I don't know, intermingle with our consultant and getting the information properly together. What we did in the past was we we wrote up specs. We had Larry on the side, uh, architectural insights on the side every once in a while. But it was kind of review it and, and put everything together. And it worked well. Um, but then everything got flipped. The request was write the specs, give it to us, and we'll send it out. Um, and we know what happened a couple a number of years ago. Things went out for the painting, and it, it was a mess. Um, and we've insisted that this committee must see the packages sure. and in a finalized form prior to going out. So after that insistence, there hasn't been a single package been handed to us. And it's unfortunate. Um, I, I think that uh, some of the powers to be understand certainly our, our frustration over all of it. I think it's going to get better because of what's happened here. Because um, it's it's really hurting the town right now. It would be nice to have Goodwin. We should be in Goodwin right now. Right now, it's, it's Hadley Media is in the upper section. Is that correct? Yeah. So we have at least some use of it. Yeah. And I talked to Alex and he he, he said, yeah, they're going to, if they start the, the phase one, it might be a day or two while they do the electrical work that he'll be out of commission. But most of the stuff, the ceiling and a bunch of the work is downstairs. Yes. Yeah. And, and it's not going to be downstairs. The problem is right now it's gone so long that I don't think there's enough money. Yeah. Well, we're at the point. Uh, that was my question. How much these delays... I mean, costing the taxpayer, 
because things aren't getting done, and then inflation and whatever. And also they pilfered a little bit of the money on the construction side out of the project that could that should be used for construction in, instead of you know the. It was for the consultant because we it's, ran out of money. Because they didn't have any money for a consultant. So they're yeah. paying it out of that. Yeah. And it's and, and the last time I, I saw the the um the line item, it seemed pretty low compared to what it started out to be. But uh it's been more than frustrating. I, I've certainly voiced my frustration that this has got to change. Mm -hmm. And there was a, a the publica publication that I was going by was the one put out by Chuna, and it's updated in 21, and it's the latest version of the designing and constructing public facilities. And a project like Goodwin, as I read through it, the updated version, it's in a gray area. It's, you know, it's it's not it's not a million and a half. It's it's not you know 800,000. It's it's just in this weird area where. It requires oversight, but not an OPM. That's correct. It, yeah. it, it, so, you know, it, at this point, it, it behooves this town, who's been so spoiled, just to pay the OPM cost to get the job done. Somebody who can keep things on track. That's right. Yeah. Even though it's not required by the state, you know, when wh whenever this town hired these OPMs to build these three new buildings, all of that information was so far above what they could handle. You know, as like you said, they're stretched already. They don't want to have to deal with this stuff. And it seems like, you know, with the good one being in that gray area of. But this, that, that's the problem with all these. We had Larry on call. He did several different projects in the public safety complex. He did some other stuff and he would follow up on these projects. Right. You know, it, it's the town's insurance policy. Right. To make sure that it's done, goes out to bid right. So that nobody comes back with change orders, you know, to cost the town more money, and also to make sure that the town gets what they paid for. Right. We don't have any money for that anymore. And these projects going forward, they're trying. They keep trying to send them out on their own, like, oh, we'll just get a quote from some roofer, and that's what we'll go with. Well, everybody, every one of us can get three different roofers to call, and you're going to get three different opinions on what to do. Right. You know, and that that's not how you deal with town business. If you want to do that at your house, well, that's one thing. Right. When you're spending taxpayers' dollars and you're paying prevailing wage for right. all these projects, and that's how, you know, when people give a bid, most of these guys, you know, there's a lot of guys that are sitting there trained to say, oh, look at it. They're looking at this going, all right, there's a change order, there's a change order, yeah. there's a change order. All right, we're going to bid low, and we're going to double our money on this. Right. And that's where... It, you know, that 50000 that we spent, you know, I don't expect it to last that many more years as it did before, but we need to put that money back in there because these projects can't go forward without somebody writing the specs at first and then following up on it. And the other thing is if they can't get the specs out in the town office, the architect, the on-call consultant can write up those specs. They do it all the time. The town's attorneys can write up the specs. Right. But it, and then it's a it, it's a matter of the town actually getting those specs, those bid specs out. You know, right. You you have to put that in, and if they can't get they it out, don't. it's never gonna come right. back. So have to pay right. That's what's you happening. Have to either pay the on call consultant to write the whole pack. Sure, that's great, but or the town's attorneys. But yeah. if it doesn't if you don't send it out, you're never you gonna don't get send it, it out, you're not gonna get you spend a little more to work, pay somebody like the extra the, to the do it. The whole thing, you pay all this money to everybody and never do anything about it. I mean. So is that on an um, article for a spring uh, town meeting? So yes. Um, probably I think I have two more to And there's, there is, um, you know, like in your case, Tim, where you were doing a bunch of, of stuff, probably pro bono, most of it, um, you know, sure, there's you know, there's rules and laws about about that, and you know, as I read through it, I can see that you're qualified and, and overqualified for many things, as as was David Tudor when he was with the committee. Uh, Dave was he probably, on a couple. probably Dave was probably overqualified for a lot of stuff. I'm sure his office is stretched over there, and I'm oh, sure he's you more know more than stretched, just as much as Hadley. So you know, we come together as a committee, and we're volunteering our time. 
we can do what we can do. But once again, it's about getting those official documents out into the public so that the bids can come back. I'm hopeful that because of what's happened with these projects, that the town will modify what we have, which isn't working and have a better system in getting these things out. And, you know, we look, we spend a little bit more money up front. Let somebody that's a professional that does this as a, for a living, write them up, put the packages together and get it out. And we're going back and forth between several different entities. Yeah. Yeah. It, it just burdens the whole, and, and it slows it, it down. I think it, the, there's a reason, I mean, everybody stretches, there's a reason you have all these different entities. So nobody, you know, not one, one person or one entity doesn't get stuck with all the work. I mean, that's yeah. obviously part of having, you know, it's so complicated for a reason. But so, it seems to have tripped the town up a little bit. I, and I, I was hoping, that we would be that one of the reasons we have the meeting now was I, I was hoping to say, hey, guess what, guys? They're out on the street. And I can't say that. And I don't know when they're going to be out. Good one and the and the painting and the Yeah. They're still I think if we request all the documents that they have, you know, see where they're at, we could probably get it straightened out in fairly short order. The documents are I mean, there. I understand and, that it has to be publicized a certain amount of time before, mm -hmm. you know. So it's just getting it right. Published. Everything is everything's everything's in a fire. There. Somebody need yeah. the person that's, they need to organize it and send it out, and right. that's the part that's not getting done at this point. So, sounds like there's really two two parts of the problem that we've been running into. One is the money and the expertise to do the bid documents and the design specs for whatever project it is, whether it's a little one or a big one. You know, somebody's got to do that. And that's usually not somebody in town hall, it's somebody you right. hire. That, those are the two. That's right. where we're at. That's the two projects we, right. we're talking about. But right. then the other part of it, okay, so somebody writes the bid, the, the bid documents, the specs, he's prepared to oversee the work. You've got that person lined up. But then before these things go out to bid, it has to go through the procurement process in town hall. And that's a separate thing. And the problem there, as I see it, is there's not enough bandwidth over there. There's not enough people. There's not enough administrative help to, you know, get these things pushed out. Um, I don't think it's... And you're absolutely right. It's not, and so you really need help at both ends. You need help... Well, design and you need help. Well, the design right now, those two we haven't done. That's been it's all done. done. It's like 100 been done. Yeah, that's all been done. And we're talking about, but going forward, there's other projects we've yeah, got coming of, up. Oh, sure. We don't have anybody to drop these things, and you, we're so, not going to. We can't do that. So, how about the? You know, I was at the uh, the highway department meeting the other day as for the design, and is was I sitting next to the, an OPM or a designer? Who are the, their hired guns? They were hired to. I don't know. As what as what's their title? Well, they were like doing it was for research on So they're research. They're like yeah, right. They're not Just, an OPM. They can't bid on a project. They can't I mean they can bid on it, but they're they're whatever they come up with. they they were hired as a consultant to say, all right, so here's what you have. So Talk to every department. Here's what we need for space for each department. And they're compiling that information. They're compiling that stuff. And they're basically coming up with some it's rough ideas. It's a, a contract. It's a planning. It's a planning. Yeah, it's a planning, yeah, planning. consult. Was a contract uh, money-based or time-based or, or goal-based? It was, I think, there was X amount of dollars for it. And I think, okay. you know, and, and they were hired not to go over that, I guess. Is it, okay. Is this for the DPW? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, <clears throat> I mean, how many meetings have you had with that? Oh God, um, we've had four or five as a committee, but we okay. they, everybody in the DPW was met with them. Okay, so you know, they've been they've times. been on board for six months or so, or oh, at least six months, probably beginning of spring. They came down and first started talking, <clears throat> but they're not they're not in your opinion. They qualified as a registered architect. Anybody? Oh, they they built all right. So they're they're qualified to to write bid specs. Our problem oh, is we've run out of money. Are you happy on with our? I understand that we need. And I, that's I guess one of the. My shorter question is: Would you trust those people to to take over the Goodwin? Is my final question. We can't just do that. I, I understand that. That's just for curiosity. 
I don't I don't know what their qualifications are. I don't know if they're they mostly build new buildings. Okay. Yep. Mostly highway department. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they could go in and do something like that. Sure, but I'm that's sure. not their that's not their profession. But they we had a certain amount of money, and I forget exactly what it was, and it's been sitting in the books for Carolyn put it in for a yeah. while when she first got here. Yeah, I remember. Study on I remember that was a, a to try to get the ball rolling. And I know, I, you know, so Mike. I, Sounds like the ball is rolling. For this study, where's going to well, land? The ball's rolling. The ball's in the air. Well, yeah, it might. It's probably going to fall and hit us in the head. I'm sure the article request in professional services will pass. It won't be. A, it should not be a problem. So it's, let, let me just ask this. Um, for the columns in phase one, mm -hmm. those are all drawn up, all yes. the specs. Mm -hmm. And now it's up to somebody in town hall to actually put, put the, the specs yeah. with the contract right. and mail it. Yeah. Right. Oh, not the contract. All right. The, the RFP, the, the okay. question is. Okay. So we don't need the extra money for that. Maybe somebody just needs to do this. That's That's right. Thing. Right now we don't. Yeah, well, we could use another planner in, in town hall. Yeah, I know, but that, that. that's like asking for more mm -hmm. money. Well, but at this point, we can't do anything well, about those. I mean, now project started. We can ask, are you moving it along? But we could pay somebody to do that, whether it be our they are paying somebody, somebody, our town administrator. I mean, in the past, you know, David, I would, would, would but put when all something's stuff not together. getting done and you want to get it out, but we're to gonna, pay we're somebody gonna, else. Money well, that's what I'm saying. That's why we need. Right. So what I'm what I'm trying to get at. Two projects are already on paper, and either somebody in the town hall has to do it, or do you got, it. or you got to wait for spring town meeting to get money to give it to somebody. That's else. pretty much it. Yeah, yeah. So, so you're right. The basics. So exactly. we're, we're done with those. No, I don't know. If we can't do anything else. Right. Let's not right. Get on with it. So you know. And I, I would imagine between Carolyn and Jennifer, they should be able to whip this. You know this proposal requested. You know RFP together and get it out. And no, it's, I, I mean, I, I that's not all they do though. That's that's I understand that's not all they do, but you know we managed to get these three buildings up in very short order. Well, Dave, it's not actually those two. It's actually the third one is the phase two yeah. contract, and yeah. we don't have that either. Out the right. Door. I did from my what I understood. Phase one and phase two were sort of. Melded together a little bit to so much. get there was it. some of that. Yeah, yes, so we get ahead of the game, and that's another. Do we have enough money to do that? That's well, it, it we gets into yeah. Oh well, that's you know. Oh no, that's for this, not for that. Well, yes, it is. There's there's some parts that are going to have to overlap in part yeah. of that. So and it you know and it comes down to where I don't know if people aren't sure how it's supposed to be done or how you do it or what. But that was another roadblock that we ran into at the last meeting. So, have you gotten any uh, backing by any uh, anybody on the select board to kind of say, let's put these higher on your priority list? I was shocked when I talked to one of them; had no idea. Yeah, that, was that there sitting that that there was a problem. Absolutely no idea. <laughs> totally shocked. So, Look into yeah, it. I think COVID knocked a lot of people for a whack, and yeah. then we had a change of six years ago. Right? Yeah. yeah, we can't keep hearing about COVID. I know, but yeah. I, I'm just saying, it, you know. And then we had a change in select board, um, and so you had people that were unfamiliar with the current projects. So yeah. that's more or less. Yeah, you know, yeah, I'm not saying everybody. There are reasons, but all I'm saying is the. The system is broken. We need to try to figure out what's the best way of going forward before we get another big project that we need to address. Let's come up with some type of system. I mean, we had a good system. We had a great on-call professional that would help us with putting specs together, help us with all the stuff. And following up on and follow up on it, and it worked well. But it there's a roadblock right now. We can get that roadblock changed, and I'm not going to go and make, you know, either excuses or reasons why we just need to address it and let's go forward. And how do how can we fix it? But right now they're dead in the water. Okay, and David, you're right on several fronts. 
it's either we can they get them out before the Springtown meeting or we get the fifty thousand dollars and that's the first priority is going to be get those suckers out the door. Okay. And the other thing is it is a shame. We're probably not going to be able now to do phase one in its entirety. So what we've been doing is cutting a lot of stuff out of phase one to try to get it done and saying, well, yeah, we can throw this into phase two. We'll have this part in its phase two. It's a lot of trivial things that, that we could do later yeah, on. Like get started Finishing the floors, something. painting this, doing that. Those things we can put into another phase. As but, long as it's not costing us more money by holding up. Of course. It, we don't know way. that. We I don't know there's no doubt about oh, it. Here. Oh. I mean, yeah. there's been four years. Those those bids are four years old now. Yeah, I mean, we that was part of the thing. You know, it's like, oh, what was this price on this? Well, you know, we know what the price was when we told you three, four years ago, but some of the stuff's doubled, some of it's tripled. So now you know now you're into oh, okay, well that's a file sub bid now. Well it wasn't when we were so we weren't planning on that before. So that's another change. So the problem is when these uh, bids come back and they're way over budget, you're kind of screwed again until you go to town meeting and get some more money. Oh, you, right. cut the, oh, you cut the project back. What more? Yeah, how much can you cut? Well, you can't get yeah, Because cool. that's one of the one of the problems that we're in here. Well, I think right now know how much it's going to the cost. money that's it's left out the bid. The money that's left. Probably you'll just pay for the electrical portion of it. Yeah. So should we be asking for a third article to replace the money? Oh, to, should, we, should we just get go out to, you know, get, step is you go out to bid because these are not projects. You have to go out to I bid would, and then you get the bids back. And if the bids are high, then you rethink it. Yeah. I would love to be able to go to this next town meeting and say, hey, this project's been delayed. Here's the amount of money that we will need to do it. But who do we need to get those dollars together to say this is what it's going to cost a professional? And we don't have a single penny to that, do it. Or... Every single time we have somebody help us, we're pulling more money out of that construction. All right. So I want to understand where we're at this point. We've got the bid documents are done, right? No. Well, the construction part. Okay. The RFP is written or not written. That that's not hard. You take a template, you modify it, it's done. I've done it, so it's not We've a big all deal. Done it. You know, <laughs> that shouldn't be a, a roadblock. It is. All right. Well, you know, yeah, that's the thing is, I think that's something. Like I said earlier, is that we can probably overcome that issue within a few days' time. You know, by early next week, we should be able to get an RFP ready to go. Um, if we well, have all these, you know, been trying for the last three months. It's not going to happen like that, Dan. Dan it is. That's just, I'm not seeing that as a need for a professional, I guess, is what I am. Yeah, I would agree. That's something that should be able to get done in town hall or somewhere in house in the town. Um, people have done it. Um, it's not. It's not. Yeah, no, I understand. I'm, I'm getting that. You're, 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 uh, we agree with you 100%. It's yeah. something that should be getting done, yeah. but it's not. I mean, procurement officer, do we have one? I, I don't two. know. We have two. Okay. So that is something but they, they should be able to do. That's the problem. Yeah. That's, you know, they are, you know, but their okay. responsibilities are. It's, well, there's not a way we should them. address them uh, directly and, and ask politely. I mean, I, I should, I, th these are just things that the well, town is paid for. They know we've asked, you know, we've asked Nothing many other know. people have asked CPA has asked, uh, you know, the number of people have asked mm -hmm. what, what can we all do to get this process working better? What right. can and, we do to get these projects out? And that's and, not a question just from <laughs> us. That's a question from the taxpayers who already decided that this money is going forward for these projects. So it's it's a bigger issue than just, you know, mm -hmm. us sitting in yes, this room. We, and, it, no. you know, that's the kind of thing that... that um, it's a broken you know, system. It's a broken... It, 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 well, what's concerning to me is the fact that the town voted to go forward with this and it's being held up. What else is it going to take to convince people to move it forward? I mean, it needs leadership to say, yes, this is a priority. I mean, the column job went out with the wrong, with no paperwork. 
Yeah. You know, we, then it cost money. And then there was a legal thing with, you know, one person had the bid. They had to go out for a second bid for the first part. It, you know, we Charged got more money. Mm -hmm. We then we come, got ready to go back out for the second part. And the first guy backed out. Basically, actually, he didn't even back out. We had to go through legal procedures to figure out how to get rid of it. Yeah, yeah. So now that you can go back out the right way, everything is still sitting there. Mm -hmm. You know, Larry updated it again. And, you know, and that's something that could have gone out. And, you know, I mean, the weather, spring is going to be early this year, it looks like, knock on wood. Mm -hmm. You know, that's something Very that might nice. be able to line up now. But that's not. Just put the curse on yeah. <laughs> Well, it's well, frustrating it's to because every time we delay it, every year the prices are going yeah, up. I mean, I mean it's and, and we talked about it three, four years ago, like you said. And it was always the same roadblock when we got to that point to move it forward. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, that, that again, I, I've got to point out that, that that didn't happen with these projects where we had an official OPM that paid. So that, you know. Well, it didn't. Yeah, that's a whole different. That's the exactly. That. It's a but whole different. It, thing. Also, it's out of their hands. It, it also didn't happen when we had money for an on-call consultant to do all this stuff. And like I said, the on-call consultant isn't just to get finish these projects. There's other projects coming sure. from the pipe. I remember. There's bids that we've sent out. Yeah. You know, they they've gone out. This summer there was a bid that went out, and I was in charge of taking them around to paint the water tanks. And I'm looking at this bid, and I'm like, where's the rest of the information? Okay, this is a bid spec. You got it out, but somewhere there must be a file that they can, if they're interested, they can bid on. Sure. I'm taking one guy around, and he's going, well, "Where's the rest of the information?" I said, "What the information said was wash it with soap and water, scrape it, and prime the rusty spots, and give it a two coats of acrylic paint. That was it. Paint the water tanks. That was it." Interior, exterior paint. Yeah. Exterior. <laughs> yeah. So we're like, yeah. I says, no, this is not spec. Somebody's got to have them somewhere. You know, where, you know, who's got them? Oh, I don't know. Who's got this guy's got them. This guy's got them. But yeah, this guy goes, well, who gave you these? I said, I got them from you. He goes, that was just, some, I emailed somebody and asked them, and they said, that's what you got to do. There was nobody. So come to find out, you first of all, you can't paint a water tank in the summer because it's condensating. How are you going to even paint it? You know, I, I remember going through a bunch of this stuff back when, you know, when Larry was helping out, we got a bunch of stuff done. And so in preparing for this meeting and weeding out some stuff, I must have thrown out three different packages of bid specs, you know, that of projects completed, you know, that we've done, we've taken yeah, care oh, of this yeah. stuff. And I remember seeing that it's like, oh yeah, okay, there's that specification, yeah, and that, oh yeah, that's all normal. Yeah, this is, you know, way too much information for what it's, what, you know. Do what's in there. All you, yeah. And Dave is right. So you put this with that out the door, it goes. And I, uh, well, yeah, we've got we got two problems. We got the stuff that's waiting to go with this and go out, and then we've got the upcoming stuff that we need somebody to make sure the town's projects with money are spent wisely. No, I, I I think it's a it, it's and I don't think quickly it's quickly solved and how. How and why it's it's backed up? I don't know, but I think it's we can. I mean, obviously, this time Larry, time. I'm pretty sure, is going to retire. Yeah, but he, we, I mean, we're yeah. going to have to go back through the process like yeah. we did before and, of yeah, interviewing somebody, people and you know putting a request for proposals out for that. Yeah, can we twist the arm a little bit to finish these two. And <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah we yeah, can do that. I think so. Yeah, yeah. I, I I wouldn't ask him to do more, but right. Since we're this far, right. yeah, he and he's going to be sympathetic because he knows all the work that he put into it, yeah. and he wants to see it done. It's like, uh, why would we waste all my time? You know, I mean, why, he doesn't want to waste your money or his time. I, yeah. I, 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 of all towns, he likes sadly. He enjoys all the projects that he's done here, sure. and he he has he has a good commitment that he likes with Hadley. So yeah, I mean, um, maybe he would be interested in you. Know, Keeping it a little bit of part time or whatever, who knows? But until you ask and go out to through the proper channels, because now we're working yeah, on it. We so I just find it weird that you, I mean, you, you can, you got some hired gun to do the DPW study, but you can't pay a, a on call consultant to get the. Because we ran out of the money in that account, and that's the problem. There's no well, where's the account to pay? So we need a vote on, on these two things. Why don't we make a motion and. Yeah, let's go ahead. on. We can get that done tonight. Mm -hmm. uh, did you read the two? I put those together. I mean, this is just getting them into Carolyn's office 
they're going to modify the wording, but it's just uh, a placeholder for the two. Do we want any others other than the two? I, I just presenting you the two right now. Um, I would imagine that we do. Oh, we're talking about these two things right now, so why not? Yeah. We, we have a motion on the floor. Do we have a second? I'll to, second it. Then so we'll, all in favor of supporting these two, and uh, we will get those two. The articles as written. Yeah, that's what we're and voting on. I'll give them to um, Carolyn tomorrow. Do as you know, voting? Voting. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Uh, has anybody, um, unfortunately, my life really got in the way of me <laughs> quite a bit in the last uh, two months. Uh, I have not been uh, even listening to what has happened with any of these projects. I've, uh, I'm talking about Russell School. I know that I heard that there's something that went in front of the select board. Does anybody know yeah. what's been going on with that? No, I can give you that that David and I are on the Russell School Committee. Okay. So we're all, you know, we're working. Would you that. mind giving yeah, just an update? Uh, an update on what's what well, here's, transpired? Here's the, um, the results. I only brought one copy, but this is the results of the survey that went out uh, that we presented to. Um, is that on the um, anybody, on the website? I, say? I don't know. I know we presented it to select boards okay. with public information. That's why I heard it. Um, it's interesting. I don't know. Maybe. Information. Um, let me see. I try to pull out from what our committee chair said about that particular survey. Uh, analysis provided in advance of the meeting, uh, survey responses from the entire pool, page two, broken out Hadley and non and non Hadley residents. One caveat for the survey members is that there were 43 IP addresses with more than one response, most of which had two responses, but one had 25, another had mm -hmm. five, which may have skewed the results because yeah. the survey was anonymous. We can't confirm that the replicates were, you know, from the same person. I have a back, back, backing up, though, there were 500, over 500 responses. Okay. From total, okay. From total residents or? No, 500 from total, total. total. 430 were from residents. Yeah. So 80% of the respondents were from Tadley residents, okay. And, and, and the and the results are broken down by what Hadley residents said or supported and what the non Hadley people were. Just looking at that. Just looking at the Hadley residents because I think that carries the most weight in my mind. Anyway. Yeah. I the, the other because it was anonymous, we couldn't. You know, we we had to put that question on there to weed out the non-residents, mm -hmm. and it was it's nice of them to be honest and said, "I don't, you know, I don't live here." So at least you have that statistic that you can, but it, it obviously shows that people are looking, you know, and that just because they're not residents doesn't mean they don't have a business here, you know, don't pay taxes here or whatever. The, so the fact that there may be, uh, maybe you may have some people voted multiple times. That's what you were referring to, right? That all washes out when you look at the the number, the n of over 500 responses or even over 400 for having because statistically it doesn't make any difference it's valid okay it's a valid um cross-section of the town there's five thousand people in town and you get 400 people who vote in a survey that's more than, than most surveys have ever gotten um and th that's a st it's a st statistically significant so what's so, what was the outcome of the meeting so with the select board? I think the, the, to me, the most important thing is, what do you support um, preserving the, the building, and do you support using CPA money to stabilize? There were a whole bunch of other questions, yeah. but that's and then the question right now is, do we stabilize the building? We, we can talk to the cows come home about should we sell it, should we lease it? Uh, you know, none of those things are realistic. 
options for us right now. Nobody's come forward. We haven't found anybody, you know, who wants to be a partner. And so the remaining question is, do you stabilize the building in the meantime? And so for that question, um, uh, do, you, do you support stabilizing the building or do you don't support it? There are actually three questions. Do you strongly support it? Do you support it somewhat? Or do you not support it at all? So when you look at, um, and we're talking about stabilizing the building, that question, from Hadley residents. So 42% of the Hadley residents said we strongly support stabilizing the building. 21% said we somewhat support it. 37% said no, we don't support it. Okay. So when you com combine the moderately supporting and the strongly supporting, it's a it's about a 63%, mm -hmm. 65% break in terms of in other words, the majority of the people in town would support it to some extent stabilizing the building with CPA money. If you turn flip it around and say, okay, let's look at who supported demolition. Well, that's going to be the other side. <clears throat> So the question about do you support demolishing the building and retaining the top, the land for town use? Fifty-seven percent of the Hadley residents said no, don't support that. And on the other hand, uh, let's see what is it? Forty-three percent would support. It. So it's about a sixty-forty. Yeah, yeah. And Forty percent of the town folks, of all the people who were surveyed, uh, which is a pretty good re uh, representation of the town sentiment at this particular moment. So um, it's the same as the yeah. community. 40% mm -hmm. would say demolish, 60% yes. would say keep it, stabilize mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And the end result was the, that the uh, select board had voted unanimous to allow uh, us to apply to CPA, you know, and we got a unanimous decision from the Historic Commission to, yes, let's see if we can get some money to stabilize. Let's at least ask for it. Is the, is the thing. Go ahead and see. Right. Like CPA, I mean, there's issues with CPA yeah. because the, the amount of money that we're talking about is is uh, is comparable to what uh, they approved for the uh, playing fields at yeah. Hopkins. And that meant they had to bond to get that money. They have to go to, they have to bond future CPA money. Right, but they bonded that as well. And they, they did approve that, but they have to do, do it again. And we don't know, we'll find out. We're going to, you know, if we're, if we, Proceed with this uh, to, to, to do the ask. That's pretty good. And, you know, obviously, I think it would be nice if the MBC, you know, there was an agreement that we at least asked that they would support stabilizing the building if we can get the money. Right. Or support what the majority of yeah. the people would support. Yeah. So, I mean, it would have to go through CPA and then it would have to go to town meeting. So it's not a, it's not a guarantee sure. that anything would happen. But All right. the article, at least. I've got a question on that. Yeah. So, are we at, we're asking for money to have somebody, they're getting back like the yeah, yeah, consultant, yeah, yeah. come up with a plan yeah. of what needs to be done in an estimate or close as we can yeah. get to an we, estimate? We have an estimate based on the old reports, the old Damn, well, that's... Of, stuff, of what needs to be done. Okay. What needs to be done. And, uh, and we, we, we have four components to that. There's four components. So yeah, I, what I'm asking is the money we're asking, asking the money, money to the do, money would include, have somebody to tell us what we need to do. An architect's going in and say this needs to be so done the, to stay Yeah, the, the answer is yes, because um, when DRA did the original estimates back in 2015 that Larry Tuttle updated in 2019, he updated the prices. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what, we, what he was updating was what DRA. Right, and if you look at DRA, what they are, what they include was the direct cost of doing the work, which is X, and then the soft costs of all the stuff that a general contractor would do, the design, uh, you know, engineering, uh, all this stuff, and that's 50, that's a fifty percent, it's double of what the direct cost stuff is. Mm -hmm. So it's a big number. It includes. I mean, based on my reading of the DRA report, it include that it would include hiring engineers or OPMs or architects or whatever to do the spec work, to do the you know. Yeah. So this is for the spec work. So we no, know no, how no, much no, money no, it's going to take. The price includes everything. 
No. It, it, how do you know what it's going to cost you? You haven't hired a guy to bring it to space. No, no. We, we extracted the numbers from the the reports that we had. Who the, did? The, the, the architect? No, we took what we what we paid the DRA to do. And tunnel. And tunnel. We took those numbers, extracted certain things out of the out of the projects, which pretty Stabilization much, which pretty much equaled the the old what the old Mohawk would have done, you know, based on what they were saying. And you combine the two reports, you say, well, old Mohawk wasn't doing, you know, they weren't doing the bathrooms and they weren't doing elevators. They just were going to stabilize the outside of the building. Yeah, the exterior. Right. And so when you when you took out and you extracted the you know the 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 foundation, the roof, the gutters, the the unstable grades, and all this, and compared it against the, the, the it's almost the numbers are almost identical as to how much money you would spend to stabilize the building. So based on this, we would you know so we have this chunk of money from CPA get an OPM even though the the we're we're not obligated because you if you know by the by the laws and the you know the rules you, you don't need to spend right you don't need to have you have to have, you, you don't need to have whether OPM, you call it an OPM or not but consult. you need right. somebody like an right. right but I highly recommend just get an OPM or a construction manager at risk to you know assume all of the you know, spec out exactly what needs to be done. Okay, yeah, it was this and this, but you're going to need some kind of, it might, yeah, it includes the soft costs included, uh, for instance, the the uh, uh, disposal and removal. So, well, that, that spec may change because you may have asbestos or you may have something else you have to deal with because you're doing that roof or you're doing, you know, that, you know, those merge, mortar joints, something. It, that's up to the beginning. No, yeah, yeah. He's right, though. We won't know. I mean, you never you know. Exactly. You are. No. Oh, I would say this, this, building, spent, this building came out under a budget. That building over there came out over budget. Oh, I know that. So, what I'm saying is we need somebody. That, well, somebody's going to be designing this up. Make sure that it out. after we get this done, right. something doesn't fall off right. and we end yeah. up suing somebody. Yeah, no, we're not. I, I think somebody's that, going to be responsible to say that, yeah, this will hold this building for X amount of years. Well, but, going to Gary's original question, do we know what we need to do now as of today? And is that what we're going for? Or yeah. are we asking somebody to figure this out and tell us what we need to do? Yeah. Well, I, I would my really... question to go along with that is, you, you guys, because you're picking things out of the old plans, um, what's on your list as part of the, we'll call it mothballing or stabilizing? You know, is it roof? Is it painting? Right. Yeah. Yeah. We, we spec out uh, unstable grades, repointing the the granite and the brick, and a roof. A roof. Now, you know, we we know that that chimney needs to come down below the roof line. We're going to figure that that's going to, you know, the OPM or engineer is going to figure out how to do that. How much that's going to cost? I would seriously worry that those. Old reports are so old that there's, there's other problems yeah. that have happened. Oh, well, maybe so, but the stuff. thing is, that's well, we would find out early on. We, we don't. The, the thing case. is, we yeah. don't have the time to figure. We need somebody professional, just just like these other projects that have gone bad. That's what I'm saying. We don't have the time left on this building, and that's why our committee has been so aggressive to get this going. It's enough. Of, you know, we we just don't. This is pass or play. And that's why we decided we're going to put this on town meeting floor because it hasn't been on town meeting floor. And the last time it was on town meeting floor is for a measly eight thousand dollars, which was nowhere near yeah. what you need to spend on this building to bring it up to you know to bring it up to stable. You know, nowhere near code. It just fix it so I mean, it's, it's, it's shedding water. It, it's, it's sort of similar to Goodwin. It's only a slightly larger scale, but it's similar to Good, Goodwin. We asked for a bunch of money that we thought, you know, that Larry said this is what we it might need. To do phase one, we asked for it. We got it. That, but that included, or it should have included, some of this, you know, time to to oversee, do the bid specs, and that. Kind of um, now it may turn out that, you know, by the time we put the specs out on uh, on the bid proposal out on the street, and it comes back, there's not enough money. That's a very real possibility because of the time lag. But we have no control over that. I mean, you won't ever know. How much it's going to cost if you don't at least get to that step? Well, that's right? why I would like to, 
first big step I see, and we're going back to all this other stuff, is you hire somebody to go in there now and say, "What? Well, here's what I recommend. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm representing the town's money. This is what we need. Right. That's what we're after. Not, I mean, the money for fixing it. We don't know what that's going to be until he tells us this needs to be fixed. And oh yeah, you got to jack up the bell tower now because that's sinking, and we got to fix that. Who knows? Yeah, but somebody, as a taxpayer, I'm not willing to take the time and spend more money on yet another study. I want. To, I'm not talking about a study. I'm talking about a plan, an architect right, plan. Well, that's why I'm saying we need to, to, to just like we had Larry do with Goodwin. Yeah, you know, and that's what we're after. Yeah, yeah that's, money. That's, it's, it's more money than we're going to spend on it. Was, was eight, a good eight years old. Not all of it. Not the bath, accessible bathroom, but the ceiling of the electrical. That that was kicking. The trustees were kicking it around for years, okay? Yeah. And then, you know. That you was know. one of the first projects. The right. first so on-call. On, that's right. been around for right. quite a long time. And that's what said it just, Right. And then finally, we get to a point now. We, we we got some money well, to do it. And it turns out we may not have enough. That's always going to be an issue with whatever project the town does. Good luck. I, you know, it's going to be a tough sell, but. Yeah, well, well, it's don't forget. Good. You look at the results of the survey, and yes, well, it is going to be a tough sell. I'm looking at the results of the survey, and if it was, if we were voting for highway equipment, and 40% of the people voted for it, we're not going to have new trucks that day. Well, we, didn't, we didn't pass the. Well, you, I'm well, you, glad the Georgia it's committee not, and you guys are really pushing. It's more like 60%, not 40%. It's 60% support, but we don't and, know until you get to town meeting. So, one good thing about having your committee. Take that stuff off of our shoulders. It'll give us a little bit more time to do what we kind of feel that we should be doing. And that, right. that's what I want to bring up. I agree. 100%. Um, and that's maintenance. And we have, we have put together that $200,000. That's something that we've been kicking around for a long, long time. Um, what I, I'd like to start having monthly meetings and start doing some more on. Uh, the maintenance of the building. Uh, we have an old sheet um, that we've used in the past, and I'm talking about something that we've had for 20 plus years on just reviewing the buildings and coming up with a list of items for each building that for every year that <clears throat> needs to be done. And we've done that for so many years, and but we never have money to do it. So hopefully, We'll get back on track. Let's think about starting that process again. And then we'll give us an idea to, um, to, to discuss that with other people, the select board, and what we feel that needs to be done on buildings. And it gives us a little bit more um, background that, information on what needs to be done. On is the, the $250,000 that you're asking for, yeah. that you potentially you're asking for, that that through that whole process, being yeah. able to, you know, find out where the beef is, so to speak, you know, if you want to have a plan for maintenance activities. I mean, this would be for through the actual maintenance activities. Yeah. But you'd still, in order to support the effort of the this committee to oversee it. We've been yeah. asking for that money since right, right, years, right. for years, years and years. years. Yeah. In fact, now it's probably so low that that's probably not true. I. Well, you know, it's it's somewhere we're still. Level funded on the budgets. Yeah, I mean, it's that that money we've been asking, I remember since the very beginning, mm -hmm. and it's never come through. And it, for me, you know, an explanation for this this type of money is like this is money that Gary needs in his pocket to say I need a crew on that, and you need to you know hire them. It's, and I think you know now that we have some new buildings, if we present it on the town meeting floor to yeah. the residents, say, hey, look. We don't want what happened in the past to happen right. again on your building. Exactly. We are telling you, as a committee, professionals that look that no buildings. Let's start with two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Maybe for a year we won't be spending it all, but let's start with a budget. Right. We have contracts that for these buildings that that we have to pay. To keep things going, we know that we have other services, and we know it's X amount of dollars, and we have money set aside so if something breaks, we can fix it Thank without you. asking for more money. Yeah, yeah. Keep, keep so that's what that thing. 
correct me if I'm wrong here, that the responsibility for maintenance and utilities of the buildings that we have in town will be moved from the specific budgets of those buildings and they were consolidated or they were supposed to be consolidated into one maintenance. They are all, it's a, it's a line item that can be spent to other buildings, but each building has a number. Right, but that, but the, but the bill, for instance, the Haley in the senior center doesn't. She doesn't hire the person who does the. No. No. So it's a it's a movable number. Yeah, movable. But it's, it's a movable but it's number. It's managed. Well, by, yeah, I mean, it's it's centrally a, managed. So you're saying two hundred fifty thousand yearly at this point. Okay, and if we don't spend that money, it goes back to general fund. I don't know. Don't know. I Whatever can't answer. Okay. I don't. All right. Or let me ask this: Can it be just grabbed and used for something else, non maintenance? No, that I know it can't. I mean, I'm hoping that this we can set this, and it's something that we have to talk to Linda Sanderson on. Yeah, I'm hoping it's a um, line item just like we have for the filters for the water plant. We put in what fifty thousand dollars a year for X amount of years, and then they go out and buy the filters yeah. whenever they need them. You know, I'm hoping that's the same thing we can do. If we don't spend 250,000, let's say we spend 200,000, can we keep that 50,000 in the bucket for next year? Because that day, gives us an ability to do a bigger project that might be needed, like oh. changing HVAC system. All right, Gary, do you know, <clears throat> When they plow like these parking lots and salt them, are they is the highway billing these buildings for? No, it's coming out of snow and ice. Okay, so I guess you know when everybody's looking at money, all of a sudden you get two fifty. Well, now highway's going to bill these guys. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I've seen it happen over there. Yes, yeah. it'll happen. So the snow and ice here. takes care of the snow and, and um, the removal and all that stuff. I mean, of course, the problem we have is, you know, everybody wants these buildings to open at the same time every day. And if yeah. the snow storm stops at six o'clock, we're still cleaning up the roads. We don't have enough guys, you know, whereas that's you know, always going to, you know. So let's in the next months try to put something together. I, I'll try to come up with what actually is in the budget right now. Total, I, I can find that easy. Before okay. we, before we leave Russell, though, um, yeah, I'm not done with Russell yet. Either. Yeah. yeah, okay. Since it's, you know, do, go ahead. Do you want I am. Well, no, I was I was just going to say. I mean, you were talking about pointing and painting and windows and that, but I think at this point in time, we don't know what's going to happen with the building. So I'd be more inclined to say, get a roof on it. I agree with the granite because I've seen it's cracked. You're getting water coming in. And maybe the gray, but let's maybe leave it at that unless right. we feel we need to do windows or painting. Right. Well, that's, that's you know, pretty much what we expect. A, a minimum amount until we actually know what we right. want because, to do, because then we can dump all the, mo the money we need to when we actually know what we're doing. Correct. If it becomes a private entity, then they can do it. Right. We that's what we're after. There. The brick looked pretty decent from what I recall. So, yeah. I mean, it, well, we, I, I would go a little bit off it, off yeah. over that. The windows, well, who cares? The building's not getting heated as long right. as the rain doesn't right. go in. Yeah, that's um, the, the painting, I think it's kind of important because it's yeah. only going to last it's, five years. Right. And let's face it, nothing's going to happen in five years. Right. You know, we can't yeah. call this. Or 10. Maybe. Let's figure 10. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> it when should it get painted because yeah. if you're going to put in half a million dollars or mm -hmm. whatever the number might be, and you don't paint the thing, people will say, what the hell do those guys do? Yeah, no, it won't look nice anyway. Yeah. I mean, it, it and, would be better to at least do, do it do it cosmetically. Right. The yeah. idea is to you know yeah. it, it, it's going to cost a, a pretty penny if you were to demolish it, and and you can't get CPA money for that. For that right. So our taxes would go up if we demolished it. CPA money is is you know yeah. our taxes don't go up. Yes, it's tax money that we've already paid, huh? but at least it doesn't raise our taxes, mm -hmm. and we can we can you know. Do the historic pre preservation that is, you know, perfectly in line with what CPA. Oh, well, that's that's all true, Dan. If the town ever comes up with the use of it, yeah, I right. think because the, if they're going to mouthball it, everybody's going to 
they juggled it. You know, when did we build the new the elementary school? That was like early twenty six, twenty seven years ago. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And the thing sat there all this time. Nobody did anything. Mm -hmm. The building went the crap. And now we're talking millions and millions of dollars when it should have been the town hall annex or something back That's there. Right. Right. Yep. You know. Right. right. But um, so if they can't come up with a decent use that taxpayers are going to support, it's cheaper to spend the money knocking down and have green space in a little park. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have more faith in our 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 future generations to do a better job than, than yeah, this, this, generation. this generation now than the fans. <laughs> yeah, so I, 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 me, I just my problem know, is we're going to spend if we spend this money on that. Don't forget, we just talked about a, a, another building that is, in my opinion, worth saving and very good. It's a good one. Yeah. yeah. You go back and ask them for the money for the elevator and the rest of that stuff. They're going to say, what the hell? We just spent a you know, million and a half dollars on that dump over there. Now you want more money for this building? Yeah. You know, I, I, the I, town I, hall. I don't know if you've looked at it or not. Well, that you got windows. Wait till we fix the pillars. Go, go That's going to look great. And go over to the highway department. How many millions of dollars are you going to spend there? Right. But we're talking about CPA money, and they can only do something. Exactly. I, I, imagine, I imagine that they could. Did, did we use CPA money for the town hall when we painted it? For the college. And have it. Oh, the college. The college. College. Right, right, right. Yeah. So... It's, th it's theoretically possible that... Well, that's because there's restor restoration is yeah, prim right. the primary it's not, focus. Right. It's not ongoing maintenance. It's restoration. Right. Yeah. yeah, That's right. the right. reason we got it. But they said painting, no. Yeah. But I said it's restoration. Yeah. We well, have to restore those. So you wait until the to do that, you got to Yeah, I know. It's kind of a, it's kind of a silly yeah. distinction, but, you know, we don't make that call. Yeah. But I guess my point is if you're going to add, we've got a good one, we got town hall that is very important. Mm -hmm. Talking about what it looks like in the center of town. Never mind that it just needs to be painted or any um, and windows. You guys are saying, and then just the study on the um, highway. Did they come up with any kind of number yet? No. no well, no guessment. Is it the problem? Three is, million or ten million? Here's the problem. Well, it can. Yeah. They. Basically worked with some sites in town. They picked out some that the town owns that are never, ever going to support a EPW. Just the way they're designed and laid out. The, the sites are terrible. They looked at some property that may or may not be for sale. Mm -hmm. And we basically came down with there's two sites that you can do it. The existing site, which is tight, kind of tight. And... Behind the new fire station up north. And given the land, the size of the land, and if you built up north, it's fine. There's plenty of room there. You can do it. But the problem is you're still going to have to have something down here. Right. You're not going to the center for salt. You can't move. Sewer plants, That's that was the sewer plant land. The highway department oh, piggybacked right. that in the 70s. Yeah. Um, if you do it up north, you still have to keep something down here for sale. Now, we've got that main part of that building. Forget about the trailers. Main part of that building, we this yeah. building committee's done a great job fixing that. That building is solid now. There's a new boiler since I've been there. There's one new hot air furnace, you know, the waste oil furnaces. Windows. All new windows, insulation, gable ends have been metal, the roof is metal. New electrical service. I mean, it's been a totally updated. Yeah, it's not. So here's the deal. You're going to still need, if you do it on those two sites, there's still going to have to be some kind of a, like a sub type thing. So instead of, like I told them, if you do up north, you can keep the salt shed down here also. <laughs> you know, yeah, you're not going to get the trucks and lift them up in there. The truck wash station isn't going to go there, but you could like, they're talking about building maintenance shop. They're talking about, you know, some storage stuff. You could put off season. Now that building is usable for. You don't have to build everything into the whole new one. You can take a portion of it out and use that one. They're talking about building down there. The first thing was, oh look, we're going to put you know salt shed behind the sewer plant. Well, you may or may not have to add onto the sewer. Who knows? They're talking about sending a lot of it to Amherst, but you really don't want to put something behind where you might have to add on. Who knows? And. <laughs> If you tear the whole building down and try to rebuild, it was a pain in the butt for the senior center just being at the church, and that was one department. How are you going to, where are you going to put everything from a highway department 
for a year or two until you get a new one built. Uh, I mean, are they exploring ideas to add on somehow to the existing structure? No. No. The, the way that existing structure is kind of, at one time they did, but you've got the outflow from the sewer on one side and the pressurized inflow on the other side. So it's going to really yeah. restrict what you're doing. There. Yeah, how you can do it. Yeah. I mean, and they're, and they're, they're, they came, one of their things was to come back and kind of modify some stuff. But, you know, there again, it's, you know, and, and who knows? I don't, I don't know if it's going to pass or not if you came up with a deal. I do, I did tell them if you're buying land to add on to this project, you know, and you're going to be tearing down houses or something like that, it's definitely not going to pass. But even just the, the cost of it, I mean, we're still paying for these three buildings and a lot of people are sputtering about it. Yeah, well, I, I think it, it, where would we be without these things? I mean, it, you need them. You, you kind of, you that goes them. back to my point. You need all these millions of dollars for operating the town. Um, it'd be great to have us to school, but when it, you start adding up all these millions of dollars, before long, it's a half a billion dollars of tax money. They fight, fought like crazy over some stupid motor last spring. Yeah. You know, and, uh, you know, th this time around, you got it yeah, was... because, you know, Scott says, well, you're, we're really not going to be paying for these trucks for two years because they're back on until you get them. Well, people said, okay. But, um, and, you know, somebody brought that up to me. They said, oh, well, you know, I think you'll get the new garage because, you know, look at all the equipment you just got. Well, okay, yeah, we did get a lot of good equipment and it was great, but that didn't go to the override vote. Oh, this is coming out of funds we have. Okay, fine, go ahead. You know, there's some people who are going to complain, and you know, we don't want to spend. Right. You know, talk need about it. you know when they do decide what to do about you know expanding or building a new PPW garage, about being able to um, take advantage of all this money that's floating around at the federal level uh, for infrastructure. I mean, even in the state, they just passed a bond issue. That's right, yeah. 150 million dollars yeah. to just okay, yeah. here, more money, here you here you yeah. go, and that. the towns who are ready. The towns who are got the plans ready to go, they're going to get that money. Yeah, you can't get contracts out. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yes. So, so anybody we should be ready. Yeah. That's not exactly. Look, that's too, is based on the towns. If you look at some of these towns that are getting it, they've spent their money. Had they still sitting on a, you know, the rainy day fund? Yeah. I mean, it's been pouring, and you know, we've had hurricanes and thunderstorms going through, and we're still saving it. <laughs> still I mean, saving how much the harder does it got to rain? What happens, what has to be sold to the town is that. Yes, we need to spend some money now, but we can get it'll put, position us to take advantage of this. I'm not going to call it free money because it's called coming out of somebody's pocket, but it's still everybody else is going to get it. It's, it's like the money usually the towns that get those we'll grants foolish not to take advantage of it. Don't have as much money needs. in the bank. Right, right. But what's the, the other side of that coin is if, once you start. You know, what's, what's the, you know, the people who are handing out this grant money see that you're putting money into your community and doing preservation like this, they're way more likely to hand over the grant. And a lot of these grants, I mean, we get, we have some of these projects that you can get money for, like some of these small highway projects and stuff like that. Oh, it's a, you know, say $50,000 yeah, project. Yeah, The town's got to kick in 10. Yeah, right. We don't have to tend to kick in. Right. They, already, they don't want to give it to us. <laughs> right. So now, okay, you could have had, you could have spent 10 and got 40, but if you don't got the 10, it's like, yeah. a, you know, like Pretty my wise. grandma used to say, you know, if they're selling the horse for a dollar and you ain't got the dollar, it's no deal. Okay. So I'm seeing an incentive for either building to get moving here because the DPW needs temporary offices. They could either go to Goodwin or we could get Russell School back online again. Was no problem with the state using it, so I don't see why we can't. No, Russell School is not going back on. Well, it's as an option. It's not. Okay. Now the trailers we fixed up the trailers. We got some money. The yep. trailers have been fixed up. Okay. We they tried the whole thing of getting new ones. It won't work. First of all, no temporary trailers in Hadley, and they're not going down that road again. <laughs> and then they wanted engineer plans. That well, was the should. first thing they when should. they all showed up because it was over D camp. Well, where's the sewer line? If somebody gets out the blueprints from 64 and goes, oh, look, here it is right there. It must be about here. I says, wait a minute. Look at what it says there. That's not the DPW garage. That's a tobacco barn. I don't know if you remember it being down there, but before they, right where the highway garage is sitting now was a tobacco barn when they built the sewer plant. Well, I, I remember when the sewer plant was built, 
and there was nothing but a long paved driveway to the sewer plant, but there was no uh, barn there. So I do remember we're at Pumpkin Field. But that there. that was there was a picture, of, and I'm looking at it going, it doesn't look like the garage, and it's just tobacco barn. I'm like, oh, okay. You gotta remember they put that in. And, like what, sixty four? Yeah, somewhere in there. Yeah, I was still a little kid here. You were too. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even live around here then. Well, let's go back to the good one because they're going to need a place to go, right? Got some. Well, no, I think what they're trying to do now is modify it so that. Well, on the trailers right now. Well, they're, the trailer. I mean, good. everything's staying where it is right now. They're good for the but project. Believe me, if we go, if you tear down the building that's there, yeah, a lot more to worry about than the offices. Yeah. Well, everything well, not, that sounds like a good idea, but. The new station up north and have this like a maintenance facility. Yeah. And right. There's there's plenty of a couple of sanders and a loader there. And right. So and the even your some of your off season stuff or something yeah. you don't use all yeah. the time. And you, know? and you can shovel weather. stuff back sure. and forth. That makes a lot of sense, especially because of the length yeah. of the town logistics. And there are places to... that you can rent too. Yeah. The space. Yeah. Oh. That's the other thing. Where are you going to rent with a lift for a truck and a bay walk? Well, you're saying office space. Salt. No. Shirt. No. No. Maintenance for, for some of the no. equipment, but mm -hmm. they they won't do that. Mm -hmm. Well, no, there's other um, issues. Well, all right, I think so, we've so seen that. We were we are we got Russell. I guess we need to, you know, get. So, well, are you meeting with the select board in the near future? Yeah, we met with them already. Right they they gave they gave go us, ahead and apply for. They, yeah, yeah, they gave okay. us a unanimous vote. Yeah. Um, um, so you know, I guess we're planning to do that is to see what CPA says. Uh, I guess we'd like to have a sense of, of whether the NBC thinks it's a good idea or not a good idea. To try to get some of this money for just basically the mothball the building or stabilize. Yeah, and the, the idea yeah. is is to get it on town meeting floor. It, again, we're out of time with the Russell School. It's pass or play now. It's do or die for the building, and we need to give it to the town to vote. We cannot go through the exercise of what the hell are you going to use it for? What the hell are we going to do? We I, it, yeah, I'm glad there are people angry. Doing and it. The people who want to tear the building down are angry, and the people who want to save the building are angry. It's time to make get you know. And this this is deciding factor. Will the town spend the money, or will the town not spend the money to stabilize it? And if they vote. To not spend the money to stabilize it, what's the difference? It's going to sit there and rot until somebody decides to get kicked down. No, we'll have the law to knock it down. <clears throat> well, did somebody, <clears throat> did you guys see that? That email? Yeah. I was just going to say that. Have yeah. you seen it? Which one? Somebody, there, some, you a, sent it, a, de you? a developer um, emailed and said, uh, What's going on with Russell School? We might be interested. He's from it Eastern Eric Roberts, was it? No, no. no. That's He's not, he listed I, you couple, know, I don't know how legit it was either. Yeah. You know, it was. He a, listed a couple of projects he'd done. So yeah, I didn't look him up. I didn't check either. on it. But oh, you know, you know, so it, it, that, the other thing is that cool. piece of property to an out-of-town developer would that be just like that? Be just like Hadley to make that mistake. Well, I mean, that's. I don't at know. Least he, there's somebody he he was I wouldn't. Or, I wouldn't dismiss any of these. Yeah. Possibility, you know, out of hand. If, if it keeps the building standing for some use and the town has control over what happens to the land in the future, I, I, I would not dismiss that out of hand. But, you know, none of these things have become real. I think that if the mm -hmm. town said, well, we, we, we like, we want the building, it's a beautiful building, and it's an important building, and it's certainly irreplaceable, you're never going to build a building like that again. Not for that. And that building, even if we don't do anything with it, it's going to probably be there longer. Before it falls down on its own, then half the buildings are Route 9. Okay. Oh, it's like, um, the thing is, if we do invest in that stabilizing, that makes it much more attractive for someone who might want to lease it or put money into it or buy it. Um, you know, it just makes it more uh, more feasible. So, basically, we can't predict that that'll happen. And, uh, but I would predict really, that if you do put money into it and you, people, the community, not only our community, but the surrounding towns see that we're putting money into that building, there's going to be, a, you know, it, 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 you know it's obvious that the town will be able to get use out of it in the very near future. There, there may be some possibilities of getting uh, nonprofits in there, like uh, especially more uh, museum or visitor center or something like that. Or do you want to think with state and federal money? Um, it certainly makes it more possible. It doesn't make right. it's not a slam dunk that it will happen, but it just mm -hmm. it just increases the odds. So I guess what we're asking is the you know uh, is the MBC okay with us taking this step, which is to ask CPA 
for approval for their approval of CPA funds, which of course has to still be approved by town meeting. Yeah, or not. Yeah, all right. I guess the real I, question like to, is a is a committee go for is this committee willing to put this on the line and actually say do or die with this building? Because in my opinion, that's where we're at. Well, I would like to see you keep trying and coming up with a solution for, to try to save it. I mean, it's happened. The Newman Center in in Amherst is on state land, but it's the diocese owns the building, so there is ways to do this. <laughs> If we wanted to own the land to have some control over it, but somebody does something with the building, I'm sure we can figure this out. It's just we need time. We're not going to do it today. So, right. And if we, you know, at least stabilize it, we advise us the time. We don't stabilize it. You know, we're, we're, it's, you know, it's, it's an awful shame. And it's, it's not going to be, it, it's not going to be shame on me for, for not doing enough about it. The CPA money, what's the percentage of the state is paying and kicking in now? In general, yeah, they used to get fifty percent. Yeah, they now it's we what? The, we, whatever it is, we get the maximum because we lose the town. Um, well, three percent, three percent. So the town, so the state kicks in. I don't know if it's an equivalent amount, and it changes because of the you know the real estate. Um, well, when I heard state, it down to thirty percent, it was fifty. It, it, yeah, it goes, it goes up and down. It goes up and down. It's always it, we, the last few years they've been been making up. Pretty well yeah. with CPA money. And CPR, CPA committee has done a great job at allocating those funds, even to projects that only marginally are appropriate for that type of, you know, it's, they're still, they're using it, they're spending it, they're voting on it. They got a whole list of stuff that they spend yeah, money on. They spent, what, a million and a half dollars on cemeteries. That's the awesome. job about putting money into the fire section. Okay. I'd like to <laughs> stop this. Okay. Do we have how is it actually written for the CPA? The article? Yes. It, 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 we did three. Did we do three or did you combine them, Dan? I combined them. I think there's a uh there's a different uh yeah, here's your combination. Uh um, while you're I looking for that. Haley uh, has the, two, oh here it is right here. It's right on. Project will provide funds for stabilization stabilization of the exterior of the building as recommended by DRA building facilities report and old, old Mohawk building preservation plan. Uh, the center of town as the town moves forward to identify and implement options for the adaptive reuse of the former now uh, vacant building. Critical to take these immediate first steps to stabilize key elements of the building envelope to prevent water intrusion further deterioration. The work will involve uh, uh, the correction of unstable grades, retaining walls, repointing of the battered granite foundation walls and exterior brick, as well as replacing the 129 year old slate roof. Uh, total budget 1.236. Um, that's pretty much it. But I don't, you haven't doesn't say in there specifically we're going to hire a full no, dam. You know, at this stage of CPA, you don't have you don't you don't have to have that. You can. I mean, yeah, it's obvious, obvious that we're going to have to hire some management. Yeah, so they're, they're looking for one point something. One point two two three six. But you don't even know what you're doing. You don't know if it's anywhere near. We enough. just uh, it said right there. The the. Yeah, you know, I'm going to do all that with that. Well, that, well, just stabilizing by actually. Oh, Actually, we get a call from Old Mohawk, and he said, "Judging by these numbers, it's obviously obvious that somebody puffed these numbers up to make it seem it's numbers. out of reach." The initial numbers, and that's what we're basing this on: the initial numbers from DRA, updated by Tuttle, okay, plus basically fifty percent escalation yeah. of, of those numbers. The two thousand nineteen, that one point two is basically the two thousand nineteen numbers for the similar, for the same work, plus. 50%. That's what we've tacked on as an escalation. And we think that's actually not, it sounds outrageous, but that's pretty much what people have been looking at, that kind of escalation. Yeah. Um, the, uh, the, I think the la last year was 20% for a lot of the projects. Okay. Before oh, that, it was like 8% a year. Then it kicked up to 20. So when you look at between 2019 and 2023, it's about 40 or 50 percent. Mm -hmm. So we were that's what we put in. Now is that based on a on a you know a 
an engineering estimated no, but um, you have the reason you love it. I don't see you putting slate roof and take down the chimney. No, we're not. On top of we're recommending metal. Okay. I, you, know, you guys I, work I, on it. Okay. Let's let's the put metal it. roof for the police station was this was five six years ago. Two hundred. Yeah, we looked at that. That was almost two hundred over two hundred thousand right. dollars. And I think yeah, we had and, we and, had a, and, a metal roof for this building. Four hundred thousand. Yeah, it was original estimate here. Remember that the uh, the public safety pool. It was around four hundred thousand. Was thirty yeah, thousand square feet. That was, was so it's almost a third of your budget, right there. Yes, yeah. the roof. Right, right. They, they, and this is is because this is a hundred twenty year old roof. It's served one hundred twenty years. We want to make it another last. Uh, I'm not arguing at that point. I'm just thinking that one point Diverse. there's nowhere near enough to get your design work done. Um, any kind of specs drawn up. We got a million dollars on just design to support. No, not just design. I'm saying design work. You're retaining walls. You and roof. The, and that's not just reporting. It's got. It's yeah, got yeah, that, that's that's a lot that of well towers dropped even more since the last time. Can't, we understand there's going to be pushback on this. We just want to give the town a you know a good shot. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, I've been requested to tell you guys um, if you have not done your ethics review, because this is a committee, you have to do that. Yeah. Where do we do that? Okay. Yeah, it just came out of the uh, line. That's through yeah. the state. So uh, certainly, if you don't know where to go, um, Jessica. Jessica has sent that around. She can send that um, site to you. It's what it is. It's pretty simplistic. It's just a, a little um a little quiz online. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You really can't get it wrong. You yeah, you can't you, you, it's, 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 you go like half an hour. Can't say okay, you can have the contract. Yeah. 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 Take so you half an hour to do it. How much you gonna give me? And if you have not been sworn in, please go this morning. <laughs> sworn in, please. Okay. okay. I don't just so we really do with Jesse. Can we take the other one? Okay, we we are required to do that every year. Uh, we're all a few of us are a little late, but that's fine. So, do we need to make a motion about Russell? About uh, whether or not if you're okay with? Uh, I mean, I don't think so. I think you guys have handled it pretty good. I uh, we have been a split committee on I mean, what to do, but I'm certainly going to support you guys going forward to CPA. Well, that's if all you, we're asking. If you all think yeah. that we need to vote to say, hey, yeah, you don't have we support to vote for it. You can we vote against it. You yeah. know, we just want to know what the, you know, an honest, like we asked the town, we got a survey, they answered. We asked the select board. Do we have a motion that on the floor? To proceed them? with uh, requesting CPA money yeah. for stabilization of the building. Uh, second. Are you seconding it? Or? No, you need a second. I assume Gary's writing, so he's taking the. Minutes. Well, yeah, well, kind of, sort of. <laughs> okay, and the motion on the floor is: Do we approve the commit that committee going forward requesting monies, <laughs> which I believe too is going to be way not enough for what needs to be done, but to go to the town meeting. To, to request CPA funding to stabilize the building. I'm certainly behind you guys to do that. So support going forward. Uh, Go forward. I, I can't support it because there's no use for the building. We've been talking about this for two years and now we can come up yeah, with I, I, I can't. So, only yeah. For one reason is we voted on it many years ago. Yeah. Four to two. It's four to two right now. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. Thank you. I I personally, based on my knowledge of numbers, uh, estimates, and what needs to be done, I think you're probably halfway there. And you may have to dial it back. Opinion. That's all that means. I think the roof is important. Get that done. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, the other we, stuff we, it might have. My whole problem. We did get the money. And we, you know, we could at least take the first yeah. steps. You take the first exactly step. what's, mm -hmm. you know, where we stand right now, and what the most important thing is or isn't. Yeah. 
And you know, we get we have you know with that kind of money, you would have to hire somebody. Sure. Yeah. You know, if it is going to be spent, the money. Uh, the yeah. first thing I want to see it spent on is a plan from somebody. Yes. Put a new roof on it, and that bell tower falls off and pulls the whole yeah, thing. No, no, I agree with you. Yeah, yeah, they're going to look like the biggest yeah. bunch of idiots. Yeah, in that's the first, I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. I agree with you. I just don't think that's that's what we're after. We're not after some haphazard way to, to put some sticks against it. But what I'm saying, you know, we we did it with the you know with the old school. We put the metal roof on it. We didn't plan on tearing the building down, but when it came down, oh boy! Yeah, uh, I know. That's the. You know, that's the I don't. I uh, those are apples and oranges because that built that we had people in that building at the time, and uh, there was such a massive leak in there; it was severe. Oh yeah, and no, that's why was, we had to do that something. Was justified. It was just. Well, it was also tied in with the funding for the new buildings and and yeah. and needing a site. You know, so it was all kind all of the same. people that bring up the old. Hooker School and why we put a metal roof on. Yeah. Well, we got a tremendous price for it. It was not yeah. much at all above asphalt. Yeah. And uh, it was basically a, a bit of a, a gift to the town to put something on that roof building that so we could keep cost. people in there. And, and he could do it. They could do it. They could, They have the vendors that will curl it down. Mm -hmm. It's been done. Yeah, I, I, so, I was thinking, is there any we, we did we were fortunate you know, to get money appropriated to to re mm -hmm. to not rehab but to stabilize the building that the first step would be to hire somebody like Mohawk or whoever you'd have to go through the process of hiring a design um a designer or whatever for, and for, he would that's you know, what that's what I think you should look at the building. Money for somebody to come up with the plan. Well, we and did, an estimated cost. We, well, we did do that. That's what the DRA report is. But I think you're talking about it. I'm talking. I'm not talking about thing. ten years ago. I'm talking about somebody now. Somebody's going to be DRA's not being responsible for something they did. I think that'll be done. With you know, if we get money from CPA. Whoever takes charge of that project is going to do just that. They're not going to just say, "Oh, we're putting a roof on. See you later." That's okay. not what well, we're after. And if, you know, I, the town's not going to let you out to bid until you have. The course. design work done right, yeah. and I don't. I I wouldn't. <clears throat> is, and again, is there are, anything else anybody else want to bring up? I got I got two questions. The uh, roofs on all the sewer pumping stations, they all done. I don't yes, know. they're not going to do that. No, not building, not the new one, not now. Where did that money come from? They get the metal roof on that new on that old. I, mean, I was surprised to see it. Hey, great, another metal roof! Yay. <laughs> Where yeah. did they, how did they get that money? We asked for it. Oh, it was in the it was in the capital budget. We asked for it at the town meeting. DPW did. I don't remember that one. Yeah, that was the last time we could have to sleep. <laughs> and then the, the other one, the CPA, which really has nothing to do with us here. Um, the church steeple. Did they ever start work on that fifth street? No, they haven't started. No, the problem. The problem is, and it's becoming a problem with everything. Yeah. Um, the guy was ready to start, and he needed some from money up front. And see, towns can't do that, although they are starting to do that now with several different projects, not just the town, a lot of municipalities and yeah. state government. Yeah. Because um, people are, you know, by the time you get the supplies in, yep. you know. And so I guess this guy, they do have a contract with him. He just has, you know, he got off on another job. Yeah, he's going to shell out $100,000 for material and then. The town pays you six months a year later. <laughs> right. It's not a good place to be. Yeah. I'm sure, you're getting probably good. Well, it's not even the town, it's the, the church, yeah. but through the town, right? Good things to bring up. Any, but, anything but else? They did have to kick in money also. You know, I said the state fronted uh, the money on some of these projects, but they'll get it back. Uh, next meeting date. Um, I'm looking at February 22nd, but I know that's president's. Day is Monday, and it's generally what vacation week for a lot of people is February 22nd, a Wednesday. Okay with everybody, or what do you think? I'm open. Go for it. It's Ash Wednesday, if that matters to anybody. God. Yeah, that's okay. It doesn't bother me. I'm just, I'm just, just, I'm just that's fine. Yeah. It's fine for everybody. So, <laughs> February 22nd, we'll do the same thing, be here. Okay. Yeah. Sound good? Yeah. You'll send out an email anyways. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Once a month, then, right? Yeah. I, we need to start I, back. I'm and our, our 
our objective is to start looking at the buildings again, uh, being what we had before that we use as a review, um, figure out how we want to go about it, get some numbers together, got some ideas of what needs to be done, certainly maybe go through the buildings again and, and get that process going so we can present, have something. Yeah, I'm sure that, you know, uh, you know, I mean, I think there's plenty of maintenance needs to be done. I'm sure that that uh, yeah. now that these built this building has been open for a couple of years, you know, and the first year didn't really create too much of a debt, but. Well, that's the problem. The budgets now are so slim that we're basically just doing what we were doing. 10 right. years ago, which but is just we have some idea of what it's fire. costing. We know what the electricity costs. We know what the some of the janitorial costs. We know what we're getting for our money on that. Well, we we tried to get a couple of janitors, and this next thing we were that was bumped out right off. I thought I saw you there with a the room in one of the buildings. What's the library doing for cleaning? We have yeah. we have a we have a contract right now. Okay. Here, but so we the don't janitors, the selectmen just knocked it down or who's the it would no, it, we were in the budget hearing and they said no, they kicked that out. Really? The money, huh? It's, I don't know why. That's no money. That's why and it's silly level now. funded. You get all Dude. these uh, buildings and nobody's gonna make Yeah, it. exactly. And I mean, like you said, you know, you could start painting you know, two years. I mean, we watched it happen at the public safety complex. Yeah. You know, nothing got done for 20 something years. Well, all we, of a sudden, we, whoa, floors, carpet, we're walls. starting to get some idea of what it's going to, you know, what's costing for, for maintaining a massive HVA system. We, you know, yeah, we've got contracts for all these things. It, are, they, are they getting used up or is that? Oh, yeah, they're getting used up. And that's what we need to you know, That's the other thing. Budget. People think, oh, you're getting all new trucks down there. You don't need any money for uh, for the yeah, sold to the oil and gas. And no gas, no gas, no yeah. oil. The first, the problem is okay. Adjourn. Yeah, Adjourn. Yes, sir. In favor, I appreciate it. all of your time. Hey, is there? Is it talked about the 